Amen. Let's just welcome Charlene. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, I'm really nervous. I don't really. <laughs> yes, um, I'm really nervous. I didn't really want to testify, I'll be honest. But I sat there and I felt this wave of heat just flood my stomach. And I said, I reflected on something that I said before to God. And I said, God, I will never tell you no. So then I still said, Lord, if you still want me to say it, then you have to confirm it. <laughs> Again, yes, God, that's me. <laughs> and the same thing happened. The same flood of um, heat filled my stomach. So I'm very nervous to um, speak on this today. Um, it's actually something that happened a while ago. But I, I feel this desire to release it, I guess. Um, because sometimes when you speak on things, it... it, it there's a release, it comes with freedom, yeah? So um, I'm just gonna say one or two things um, in regards to what I've experienced and um, the way that I believe God has delivered me in his own unique way. Um, obviously it's no secret that I've been going through deliverance in this congregation and I remember saying to God ages ago, which was, I've said this to you guys before, um, I remember saying to the Lord one day, God, I weren't gonna come today. And he said, it's okay, keep coming because it's medicinal. So with that, I kept on coming. And um, I always remember that day because um, I came straight from work and the Lord said, go and testify. I said, I don't want to. I said, I don't even have a testimony. He said, go and speak. I said, God, I just come from work. Look at my shoes. He said, wipe off your boots and go. So it, it's been um, obviously a continual um, process from even back then. But um, I remember the days where I would come to church and I would have this feeling that there are electric cords around my neck, they were around my wrists, and I would sit down and listen to the word. I would worship, and they would, they would tighten around my neck. And I would keep doing like this, feeling my neck, looking at my wrist to see what was there, you know? And there was nothing there, so I knew obviously it was spiritual. And I always remember one day we were praying and I felt something snap and I felt it in my stomach. And as time went on, these bonds began to loosen. I don't feel the, the cords around my neck anymore. I don't feel it around my wrists anymore, thank God. Um, also, it's no secret that I'm always late for church. <laughs> and I always say, please do pray for me because it is, it, it's, it's partly me. You know, I don't want to give Satan all the glory in that one, but, um, I remember during the, um, the conference last week, um, I came to the front and I actually came for healing, to be honest, but the minister addressed nightmares, repetitive nightmares for that matter. And um, I, do, I was having a season of um, nightmares where something would keep me in my room, it would hold me back in the house, etc. And um, literally every time I was getting ready for church, I would feel this Im immense, this intense pain. And um, it would hit me in my stomach, it would hit me in my sides, in my knees, everywhere. And there were days where I would get ready for church on my knees. I'm not exaggerating. I would do my makeup on my knees, do my hair on my knees, crawl around, get my back together. And the closer I got to the door, I would, I would stand tall, to be honest, and I'd go out to the bus stop and I would just be walking. You would never know that it was me who was just crawling on the floor on my hands and knees in pain, in agony, okay? So that's how I know it was spiritual and I know it was the enemy. He didn't want me to come to church. He doesn't want me to be on time. So please, when you see people doing things, making mistakes, don't criticize them. You don't know what's happening. You really don't. You know, and um, it's so interesting even that um, the pastor last week um, addressed stomach problems because I think it's a very common issue, but um, this was one of my um, problems as well. I would have um, a lot of digestive problems. I'm still a little bit of a bloater, but um, <laughs> that's what I say, you know. I have a um, pot belly and I say, it's okay, I carry cute. You know, <laughs> but um, this was something that I was really struggling with and I had intense pain. And um, to be honest, um, 
it came to a point where my digestive system wasn't working. I lost so much weight at one point. This was prior to me coming back to London. And um, I was anemic. I had problems with my bones. Even when I was catching people as an usher, I would feel a lot of pain in my body, in my back, etc. But I would push through it because I said, in Jesus' name, I'm not going to take this on. It's not mine to receive. And I remember my doctor gave me a diagnosis. I don't remember the, the name to this day, but I remember seeing the word bounce through the room and out of the window. And that was it. I, I threw it out the window. I didn't receive it. You know? Um, excuse me to say, I was even... Um, I had... I was even hemorrhaging at one point, to be quite honest. And I had this dream. And in the dream, I went into a room and I saw a hospital bed. And if you know hospital beds are electronic and you can elevate them, lower them, etc., adjust the head. And this bed was elevated and there was a woman on the bed. And she looked at me, she, she um, crawled over to me and she wrapped her arms around me. She hugged me really tight. And when she um, let me go, she lifted up her top and I saw a stoma bag. I don't know if, you know, if from the sounds of it, you all know what that is, yeah? And exactly where the stoma bag was is where she pressed her abdomen to mine. And I thought, wow, I woke up and I said, I believe it was God delivering me from a very wicked plan of the devil, to be honest. And this is actually what Jesus done for us. You know, he did wear every disease. He took our sins and wore them on himself, even to the point where he was hung naked, completely naked. Okay, so he wore every shame, every disease, every cancer, every bowel cancer, every Crohn's disease. And that's what he did. He transferred it from me in the image of this woman in the dream, you know. Um, my symptoms, like I said, they've decreased a lot since then, you know, and I give God the glory. And I just wanted to say that because I feel like once I speak on it, for some reason, I feel like I will be released even more. I don't want to hold on to it. It's not the nicest thing to talk about, but that's it. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody just celebrate Jesus. Just celebrate Jesus. Isn't he faithful? This God that we serve, my God, in her dream, she was delivered. That is powerful. That is powerful. Hallelujah. Amen.